hard get dough I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad A while back, I had built this this jib for my backhoe or for my excavator and basically I used it to um, pick up all the beams on my shop and pick up all the trusses and basically I just made this I, I looked on the internet and found a picture of one and and I made this and it's about 12 foot long but I don't use it anymore and it was laying outside rusting and I wanted to get my bucket my two foot bucket back because I welded this thing to the back of my two foot bucket and so today it's going to be all about repurposing this now it's got a couple things going on it's got quite a bit of this four inch or three by three square tubing and also it has a pendle hitch a pendle hitch on the front and I basically wanted to um, yeah you can see it it worked really well actually but I need that bucket back and I also want to repurpose the steel and also the pendle so today it's going to be all about we're going to cut this thing apart and repurpose that steel into a welding bench and then also we're going to take the pendle off the front of it and make a pendle hitch to slide in my Bobcat Toolcat or in my truck. Let's get started. The first thing I do is I'm using my Evolution chop saw. Now I've had this chop saw for three years and the blade is still perfect and I basically I made this made this do-it-yourself jib I also built the log hauler which you see in this picture right here and this blade is the original blade and it's an evolution blade made in Japan and it's a dry cutting blade and it works fantastic This is what's outside my window while I'm editing this video. Some squirrels, some birds, and this little buck. Pretty nice place to live. Another little buck right down there in those bushes down there. And then there's these crazy squirrels. Next up I get, I grind all the ends and I get out my Hobart 110 wire feed welder and proceed to weld the top of this bench together. And my Hobart welder is a 110 and actually it's been really good. It, it welds as thick as I need to weld and it's been, um, been pretty happy with it. I'll show you a picture of it right here.
Once I finish welding the top, I then weld the legs onto the bottom, and then it was going to be off to the pindle hitch. Now the pindle, the pindle hitch turned out to be a little harder than I thought. It was a, it was welded on this qu uh, quarter inch thick steel plate, and to get it off there, I it was a it was a pretty big challenge to get it off there. Right here, my little bench is done. I don't have quarter inch plate steel to put on top of it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on the pinnel hitch. Now, right here, I'm gonna use my plasma cutter and try to cut the weld off of this pinnel. And it's, it's basically welded straight to this quarter inch plate, which proved to be pretty hard to get off there. And there you go, one pintle, pintle, I don't know how you pronounce that, pintle receiver hitch um, 
fully welded, ready to go. So we so we were able to repurpose the metal into a little bench, which I still need to finish by getting up some plate steel for the top of it. And then we also were able to make this little this little panel hitch for um, my truck or for the tool cat to be able to um, hook straps to and pull things. And yeah, that worked out really good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Actually, that's going to work. It's th This is really handy to have, too, if you need to pull someone out. And in the wintertime, I tend to pull people out every once in a while, so that'll come in handy. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I